Oh yes, that's yeah. that's the best one. You want to wrestle with that and bend it? Not really. <laughs> Not really. I'll be quite honest with you. <laughs> Need some help? Yeah, I do. I'm but you're gonna have to change those shoes. Do you got something for me? I just I came out the boots. kitchen. <laughs> I got some boots for you. All right, all right. So how long have you been doing this? Uh, I started in 74. Wow. So that 44 years on post. So How'd you get into it? I'm sixth generation there. Okay. So. My father was a fisherman, my grandfather, my great grandfather. So when did it start for your family? Uh, I think it was the early 1800, 1830s, something like that. Really? So I've been here a while. Okay, there's your gloves. Roll my sleeves up. <laughs> These bait bags here. Okay. You have to kind of open them up. Then you just grab a handful of herring. You gotta work as you go, just like in the kitchen. We got 800 to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have a long day. <laughs> See, there's plenty of life. Oh, there we go. You know, and this this guy there here, that one is coming with us. He's dinner. Boy, they get ugly. Woo! Well, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. Yep. We got one. This is how we uh, how put some bands on them. Okay. Hold them like that. Put it on like that, and then you twist. Thanks for getting used to. But... Slide her all the way on like that, then twist it and pull. You got it. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Okay, let her rip. Well, yeah, you passed the test. All let's right. See, let's see what we're gonna do for lunch. <laughs> nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Here. Hi, you guys. Hey. This is my wife, Barbara. Hey. Nice to meet you. Uh, such a pleasure to meet you. Hey, so great to have you here. Yeah, he's been taking good care of me. Caught some dinner. Been, been a good crew on the boat. Hey. Right. Looks like you did okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing a lobster piri piri, main lobster with avocados, marinated cucumbers, and this green seasoning, which is uh, pretty much like a South African hot sauce. But we make ours with gooseberry. And then jollof rice is a Nigerian dish, and we're gonna make it with a red lobster stew. So we're gonna get your house smelling really, really good. It'll be really. A, a different way than I'm used to eating lobster. Yeah, so. I bet, I bet. <laughs> so how I really learned how to work with these Nigerian flavors is watching my aunts and my grandmother in Nigeria. You know, I learned by eating it. I learned by experiencing it. It's part of the culture out there in Nigeria. So it's really, really great to bring it back here and cooking it in Maine. Normally it's like chicken or goat or beef or even fish. And we're doing lobster in this case. You all hungry? Yeah. Cool. Oh, that looks great. That looks pretty good. Is this your old family's recipe? Yeah. So, you know, in Nigeria, we always had jollof rice during like big parties. So someone got married or birthday or there was a funeral or any anything, we had jollof rice. Just how lobstering was passed down in your family, uh, cooking is passed down in mine. Uh, my mother's a chef, my grandfather is a chef. Kind of brings things together. Absolutely, know? absolutely. <laughs> so dig in. Yeah, this good. is incredible. This is very good. I gotta say, I, I, I couldn't have wished for a warmer welcome and a greater experience. And that's from the bottom of my heart. To sit here with you and catch the lobsters and then cook them and then eat them together. This is what cooking is about and this is why we do this. So thank you. I've never been on a lobster boat before. I think the most surprising thing to me is how many lobsters get thrown back. Do you think you would give me a job? Maybe an internship? The only problem is I need a little bit of help, so you'd be my sous chef today. Great, I've got my knife right here. Yes! 